Hello, here are lots and lots of songs about food. I thought we'd start with a rhyme though. One potato, two potato. Make your hands into fists like potatoes and you're going to stack them up on top of each other while we say one potato, two potato, three potato, four, five potato, six potato, seven potato more. It's quite a simple rhyme. Should we do it again? Here we go. One potato, two potato, three potato, four, five potato, six potato, seven potato more. There you go. That was the way we used to choose who was going to be it in a game in the playground when I was at school, which was a very long time ago. And you'd each take it in turn to put your fist forward. Somebody else would put their fist on top of yours, somebody else. And then the person who ended up at the top, they were it. And then the rest of us would run away so they couldn't catch us. Right. How about a song about making pancakes? Do you know this one? Sieve the flour and put it in. Sieve the flour and put it in. Sieve the flour, put it in. Now we've made a pancake. So you could sieve the flour. So you know a sieve is like a, a bowl that's made out of wire all crossed together, but there are lots of holes in it so the flour falls fl through with no lumps in it anymore, nice and fine, ready for cooking with. So you've got to shake the sieve. Sieve the flour and put it in, put it into the mixing bowl. And then the next verse is break the eggs and stir them in. So we've got to break and then we're going to stir. And then we're going to add the milk, pour it in out of the bottle and then whisk it in. Oh, I think whisking is a bit more energetic than stirring. Stirring's nice and gentle, but whisking, oh, lots of energy. And then put the mixture into the pan. We're going to pour the mixture in the pan. So a nice big frying pan with a nice long handle. We're ready to cook. And then when the pancake is cooked on one side, we have to turn it over. So we flip it in the air and it spins round and lands back in the pan. So sieve the flour and put it in. Break the eggs and stir them in. Add the milk and whisk it in. Pour the mixture in the pan. Flip the pancake in the air. Now we've made a pancake. And we say that bit, now we've made a pancake at the end of each of our different actions. Okay, let's have a go. Sieve the flour and put it in. Sieve the flour and put it in. Sieve the flour, put it in. Now we've made a pancake. Break the eggs and stir them. It's a rhyme though, and it goes like this. Mix a pancake, stir a pancake, pop it in a pan. Cook a pancake, toss a pancake, catch it if you can. Have you ever seen somebody making pancakes and they didn't quite catch it in the pan and it goes on the floor, or even worse, on the ceiling? Whoop! Uh-oh, stuck to the ceiling. Let's do that one again. Here we go. Mix a pancake, stir a pancake, pop it in a pan. Cook a pancake, toss a pancake. Catch it if you can. Did you catch it? Well done. How about we have a song about growing oats and beans and barley, all sorts of crops that you can grow in the fields to make lovely food to eat, like porridge, 
and bread and stews and casseroles, all sorts of delicious things. So, oats and beans and barley grow. for this because it's the farmer. Now, oats and beans and barley grow. They grow and they grow. Can we do things growing lovely and tall? Wonderful. They're plants and some of them have got their seeds right at the top of the stalk and some of them have got them all the way down the stalk. But anyway, they grow up and up and up and fill the fields with green. Beautiful. So oats and beans and barley grow. Nor you, nor I, nor anyone know how oats and beans and barley grow. It's just wonderful, isn't it? But we do know, we can find out, and lots of things you're going to be learning about is exactly how oats and beans and barley do grow. Now, first, first, the farmer sows the seed, so he's got to throw the seeds all over the empty field, which is just bare soil with no grass, no plants growing, and it's nice and clean, ready, waiting for the seeds. We throw the seed about, so can you throw the seeds? There we go. So first the farmer sows the seed. That's called sowing the seed. Then he stands. You've got to put your hands on your side and go, yes, I have sown the seed. I'm very proud. He stands and takes his ease. That's a very old fashioned way of saying he just relaxes. There's nothing for him to do now because it's the seed's job to grow. He stamps his feet. Can you give a good stamp of your feet? And claps his hand. Nice big clap like that turns around, spin all the way around, to view the land, to look at all his beautiful fields full of growing oats and beans and barley. Shall we have another go? Here we go. Oh, not in that key, Mrs Grayson. Sausages. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've got ten fingers. A little bit like sausages, that'll do. Ten fat sausages sizzling in a pan. One went pop, but the other went bang. Oh my goodness, did you do that loudly? Let's have another go. Ten fat sausages sizzling in a pan. One went the other went bang! <gasps> I bet that was loud where you are. Okay, how about we sing when a dinosaur's feeling hungry? I like this song a lot because when the dinosaur's feeling hungry, he looks for food. He looks in the fridge. That's a surprise for a dinosaur. He looks in the fridge when he's in a hungry mood. Oh, I'm hungry. When he looks in the fridge, he finds lots and lots to eat. When he looks in the fridge, he finds lots and lots to eat, and he says, apple, oh, mmm, socks, yeah, don't want to eat socks, do you? He says, apples, mmm, socks, yeah. When a dinosaur's feeling hungry, he looks 
for food. He looks in the fridge when he's in a hungry mood. Let's have a go. When a dinosaur's feeling hungry, he looks for food. He looks in the fridge when he's in a hungry mood. When he looks in the fridge, he finds lots and lots to So I hope this week you're going to go and find out a lot of interesting things about food. You might even get a go at cooking some, but I definitely think you should have a go at tasting some. Okay, have a lovely week. See you soon.